Hello, this is Lynn Allen. Welcome to another AutoCAD tip courtesy of Catalyst Magazine. Thank you so much for joining me. Today I want to continue talking about Autodesk 360. Now Autodesk 360 is the Autodesk platform for all of our cloud applications and it's one that everybody can access, including you. So everybody, no matter who they are, even if they don't have any Autodesk products, can create and open an Autodesk 360 account and they can automatically have five gigabytes of storage to do with as they please. So Autodesk 360 is much more than just storage. It's also about sharing and, and a collaboration, but at its, even at its very lowest level, it's a great, awesome backup program. Let me show you what I'm talking about. All right, so I'm going to go into options. And if you go to the very last tab in options, to the online tab, you'll see this section that I showed you during the last tip about syncing your settings to the cloud. And you'll see that there's an option that says enable automatic sync. Now what happens if you turn that on? Every time you do a save, AutoCAD will save your join file where it normally does. And it will also save a copy of that join file to your Autodesk 360 account. Awesome. So just imagine this, and you don't even have to think about it. It just happens, it's, it's magic. <laughs> so just imagine you go home the next day after you've been working on a drawing file and you get really sick, and your boss says you need to make a couple of changes, which you're not gonna be happy about because you're sick, but you could go to your Autodesk 360 account and you could grab that drawing file and on your computer at home you can make some changes and then you could put it back in the cloud and you can share it with him so he could see the changes. And then you could go back to, you know, eating chicken soup or whatever. <laughs> so it is a great backup program, a great place to store your drawing files. So let me show you. I, I've turned Enable Automatic Sync on. Now, whenever I do a save, it's going to automatically save it to my Autodesk 360 account. It's really just that simple. So I'm going to go to Autodesk 360 tab. And you know, last couple of weeks ago, we talked about these two options here, Sync My Settings and Choose Settings. In this situation, let's go take a look at Open Autodesk 360. We're just going to do a very, very quick flyby. So the first time you go to Autodesk 360, you'll have to set up account. Give it some basic information and then select a, a password, right? Once you've got that done, you can go in and out as many times as you want. So if you take a look at the screen, you'll see there's a couple of different tabs. The Home tab, which is usually the one it opens to, but not today because I'm showing it to you. <laughs> it shows you everything that's been going on with your account, what's been uploaded, what's been downloaded, what's been shared, and it just kind of keeps you um, in tune with what's been happening with your account. Almost everywhere inside of Autodesk 360, there's also an option that says Upload Document. All right, so you can do it from inside of AutoCAD. You can do it directly from inside of Autodesk 360. You can go to Autodesk 360 directly too. You don't even have to do it from inside of AutoCAD. All right, so let me go to the documents page and you'll see that I have all different types of documents and I have folders that have documents in them, no surprise. Um, I'll ha I have drawing files, I have inventor files, I have some PDFs, I have a little bit of, of everything. So you're not restricted to drawing files or even Autodesk file types inside of Autodesk 360. You can put your grocery list up there if you want. But here they are all nice and safe and sound. And I can access any of these files from my Autodesk 360 account and I can also share them from my Autodesk 360 account. So let me just go back over to AutoCAD very quickly. I want to also point out that if I go into the open dialog box or any place that requires you to search for a file, you will always see in the upper left hand corner Autodesk 360, which gives you direct access to your Autodesk 360 account. All right, so everybody, no matter who they are, can open an Autodesk 360 account and get five gig gigabytes automatically. If you happen to be on subscription, you get 25 gigabytes, which of course is even better. So do me a favor, let's step into the cloud, open up an Autodesk 360 account if you haven't already and start to wander around in there and see all the great things that you can do with Autodesk 360. And I'm going to show you more in the next couple of weeks. All right, there's my tip. Set up that automatic syncing so you have that great little backup system, a little added extra security. And I'm going to see you back here in two more weeks. Thank you for joining me.